Hello and welcome to my first video ever. My name is Cricket and this is, uh, we'll call it a self-sustaining farm challenge. Now, not like your typical challenges that some people do. It's more of a self-imposed challenge, if you will. Um, so I'm here on No Man's Land. As you can see, now I know a lot of streamers and stuff and content creators have done a bunch of No Man's Land things, but uh, this one's got kind of a twist to it, so stick around. You might actually uh, enjoy it. Um, I will give you a farm tour and we will go from there. I've got this fantastic 82 Studios TLX 2020 for a truck. Start off with, it's the only vehicle I have currently at the moment. As you can see, my bank account balance is only $3,000 because I spent the money setting up the farm. Um, over here I did place a couple of the new cell points that you've seen in the Mod Hub recently, and uh, they're fantastic. Um, so we're heading toward the farm. Now granted, I don't own the land all the way to the road, so I haven't built a complete road to the farm yet, but that will be uh, a plan down the road as I'm driving like a maniac through the trees here. Uh, I think the road starts here. All right, so we are at the farm, and I built it off to the uh, to the right as opposed to the the typical spot, you know, where most people place the farm. So what I'll do is I'll give you a quick tour, and then I might do a uh, a quick aerial flyover. Um, and the whole point behind this video and this series that I'm uh, beginning is uh, I want to create a self-sustaining farm. So we have right here. Starting off, I did the uh, old production pack by Farmer Manu, and uh, we've got liquid fertilizer production there. Over here, we've got solid fertilizer production, seed production, and I think you get where I'm going with this. Um, now over here, I've got the new uh, one of the latest uh, solar panel warehouses. So this will give me a, a bit of an income. And we'll drive further down and see what else is going on. Uh, now basically I started off on farm manager mode. So I have started off with the 1.25 million and I basically <laughs> spent all of it setting this place up. Um, Another shed right here. That's uh, one from the Missy B pack, I believe. And over here, we have the log cabin by Agritono as my sleep trigger. A nice little yard here. Some flowers make it look nice, you know. And now we get on to the animals. Uh, starting off, we've got, I think, oh, I'm sorry, we've got one more production pack. That is the that factory is for pig food, so I can make my own pig food as opposed to giving them the horrendous amount of different crops that they need to survive. Um, I've got this fancy, uh, I think it's the, what is it called, give me a second, Modern Pigs Barn, I can't remember who that's by, I apologize. I can get the switch to open the door, and it's fantastic, I absolutely love this one. Um, and it's nifty too because you have to actually muck out the area yourself. So your straw goes in here, manures over there, and your manure, manure, Jesus, I can't talk today. Your manure is produced there and you have to scoop it up yourself. Um, food goes there. And then of course your slurry comes out here, water is there, and I believe the manure pop, no, manure is inside, I just said that. Wow, you can tell this is my first time doing a video because <laughs> I can't talk straight. Um, and then we've got the cow barn over here. And the thing I like about this one is this has a nifty feature. Obviously you've got lights and such inside. And if I can open these doors. They've got the, uh, the movable venting screens or whatever you want to call them. I like that as a feature. So eventually we will be getting cows and pigs, and I might even try and do down the road the uh, 
the new sheep pasture mod that uh, that produces sheep's milk. So I got another smaller solar panel shed here. This one is um, has just recently come out, so I'll get a little bit of income from that. And I've got the alien gym. Um, it's escaping me. BGA <laughs> with an uh, extra digestate tank extension and a triple bunker silo set here. I've got one field that I plowed up to start with. Obviously I can make more, but um, this is where I'm starting. So I'd also like to take a second to uh, big shout out to Driver53. Um, amazing content creator. He does a lot of precision farming content. He's uh, console related, PS4. Uh, great stuff. Definitely go check him out. Uh, another one, uh, Bruce's Gaming. Another guy, fantastic guy. Um, uh, Rusty Money Gaming. Uh, I just started watching him, but he's got some really cool stuff. Does a lot of the uh, Shanty Boys challenges. Um, if you've not looked into those, you definitely should. They're pretty nifty. Um, and lastly, shout out to you, Marty, because you're awesome. And so for a moment here, hop out and I'll give you a real quick flyover. So we came up the road as I'm flying around like a maniac. Over here we've got our one field and then all of the stuff I showed you before. And this is the starting farm. Now I do have the pickup, but I do not have any uh, equipment whatsoever. So that is going to be part of the challenge. Now, obviously, you start on farm manager mode and you've got the 1.25 million and 250,000 of that is a loan. So I still have the capability to take out $250,000 in a loan. And uh, we shall definitely be doing that as I don't have the money to get anything right now. But I'm hoping the purpose of this is that I will be able to actually create a self-sustaining farm, which I haven't seen a lot of people do. I've seen people use factories a little bit here and there, but I'm talking about, you know, spending a little money at first, but between the ki the, pa uh, the cows, the pigs, and all the production packs, basically I will be able to create my own fertilizer, liquid and solid. I will be able to create my own seed and pig food. So basically... And then obviously making silage and total mix ration and everything from the grass and, and whatnot, I'll be able to actually create an entire self-sustaining farm from that. The only things I will not be able to create because there's no uh, factory in this pack or that I know of, at least on console, to create lime or uh, fuel in this pack. So basically I will still have to buy lime and fuel but everything else will be created and made from this pack. So, we're going to start off here by getting a tractor. And it's one that I've only used one other time, and I actually really like it because the versatility of it. It's the Syntrack. A lot of you people know about this. And, of course, I mean, it's been out for a while. It just had a recent update. Um... So we're going to customize this up real quick. I tend to <laughs> I tend to love black wheels, so you will see that probably on a majority of my vehicles, tractors or otherwise. Um, now, give me one second as I try and do this. We are going to go with the new Nokian tires that they just released for this. There we go. I think they're called the Tractor King tires, I believe. Now, granted, I don't have the money to buy this, and apparently we didn't take out the loan yet, so I don't have the money to do any of that. <laughs> uh, yes, this is going to be a fun one, folks. Apologies, as this is my first video, and uh, being new to all this, it's a bit different. Especially kind of monologuing as you're doing things, I'm not used to that. Oh wow, I can go way above. <laughs> we'll stick with 288 right now because I don't want to go too nuts because I have to pay it back eventually. So back to the sin track. Let's try this again. Ap 
apologies to those watching because the cringe level will be high. <laughs> Alright, we're going to lease that. And then. Now I am playing with Seasons on as well because this has a uh, production pack Geo. So I can actually run Seasons and a production pack at the same time. So just to give it a little bit more challenge, make it a little bit more interesting. Um, I believe I'm only running on three day Seasons though. So it won't be too long, you know, through the Seasons. And, you know, I'll adjust time as necessary um, for that. I'm going to make them white to match. Yeah. We're going to go with that. Now, at first, I'm going to lease all of this stuff because I don't. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to keep and what I'm not going to keep. But uh, we'll get the basics started up and go from there. <clears throat> Apologies. Nope, we're going to leave that black. We're going to put that white. There we go. That's better. Definitely want the cover. Wheel loader. Tell yeah, we're going to go wheel loader on that. Come on. There we go. Tiny glitch. Holding this up. Alright. So we'll get that. Now I don't... Some of this stuff I'm not going to need right away, but I'm going to grab a few things just to start off with. Uh, I'm going with... If I ever get there. Ah, there we go. Fork Lizard with Claws. Absolute fantastic bale handling mod. We are going to buy that. Now I need, let's see, what do I need? I'm going to go with a bucket. Bristle and laid. 6210. Eventually this is probably going to be used for the silage pits. <clears throat> Um, and various things like that. So, but right now we're going to stick it on the uh, Sintrack. I almost called it the Lin Track. We're going to stick it on the Sintrack to get it here. Uh, now I need a trailer. Oh, uh, side note fantastic trailer. Uh, most of you probably know about this, but the, for those that don't, there is a um, bale trailer pack, the Vittori pack by, oh shoot, I can't for the life of me remember, and I'm not in the mod hub, so I don't remember who made it, but this pack is fantastic, because not only do you get, um, <clears throat> not only do you get bale trailers, uh, that have the capability of auto-loading, it's also a fantastic vehicle transport. And I will show you that in a moment. Like I said, I I like black. <laughs> um, base bed. Yeah, we're going to stick with base bed. We're going to buy that. And lastly, I believe it's miscellaneous. Nope. What the heck is it under? Front loaders? No. Nope. Loaders. No. Telehandlers. It's got to be telehandlers. No. Skid steer? Oh, okay. The Avant. Now, a lot of people might say, well, why do you want that? The reason being is despite the fact that uh, this is just a tiny little guy, it does get around nicely. It's small. Now, granted, I could use a skid steer, but having not really used this, I. Uh, I don't know. I felt like doing something a little different. And here we go through the list. There we go. That's what I wanted. 
Now I believe that should all be up at the store. Yes, yes it is. Alright, so I had some te technical difficulties. I had to reset this. So basically, um, we've got the sin track here, and uh, it's one of the most versatile tractors in the game. Basically, um, you've got it as its quad steer, so that's handy. It's small, about the size of um, a telehandler. So it's easy to get in and out of areas and everything. Uh, it's 420 horsepower, so you've got the horsepower of a much larger tractor in a smaller package. Um, and the amount of implements you can attach to it is fairly nice. It's pretty much limitless in what you can do with it. Plus, it's also got... Um, you can flip it around and drive it in the other direction too, so depending on what you've got on it for implements, uh, that is nice as well. Um, we're going to open the cover and drop it down, because that's how you have to attach the uh, implements. If you don't, it uh, <laughs> makes life a little complicated. So this is the uh, elephant loader. Basically, it is much like the... Uh, you've got wheel loader, telehandler type capability in a nice little fold-away package. We are going to... <laughs> uh, I knocked that over when I was moving stuff around. Come on, where are you? Alright. The purpose of this one right here, this one allows you to attach implements, uh, specifically in this case wheel loader implements, because that's what I have it set as. So you can actually transport stuff, which is super handy. So we'll attach that like that, bring it up. like that. Now the cool part about this is you're carrying something but you can still attach a trailer to it. So we'll unfold trailer, uh, tractor, yeah trailer, unfold the tractor to bring it back up to the proper height. Oh, before I forget, stop it. Um, one of the other things I like about this is the screens. Now this one right here, if we go to the rear attachment, this is active, so you can move it and everything. If I turn that off, it becomes inactive, so it doesn't move. And the same thing with the wheel loader, why are you not on? Uh -huh. Let's turn that one on, see? Now, the height is that tiny little red bar on the tall, blue, skinny slider. And then your angle is by that arrow. The, uh, the, the, jeez, I can't talk today. You get the idea, though. <laughs> Alright, so, now the point now, is now we back up to this, attach it, and... This one right here, the Fattori, as I was saying, the fantastic thing is it's a tilt trailer. So not only can you use it as an auto-loading bale trailer, or a log trailer if you will, you also have a tilting car trailer, or vehicle trailer, tractor trailer, whatever you want to call it. It's fantastic for transporting stuff around. Um, it does have straps, obviously this will not strap down, so you got to drive carefully. But, now we'll go drop it off. And 
And that is our setup right there, I mean... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> ah, tis a lovely day in the neighborhood. It's definitely handy. Alright, we'll drive out in the woods here. Eventually I will get a road built. Oh yeah, and the other thing about this uh, Sintrac, the suspension articulates massively. It's, it's awesome. It's a very detailed mod. And like I said, those screens, there is a screen for every implement and either shows you angle, height, or whatever. And each one can actually be activated and deactivated. Uh, mainly the screens, in some cases the implements themselves can be activated or deactivated so you're not moving them while you're trying to drive or something like that. Um, there's also uh, dual attachers for um, mower setups so you can... what am I doing? I'm talking and not paying attention. Spectacular. Um, so, uh, mower attachments, so the cool part about them is they actually turn with the vehicle. So you end up basically getting a giant zero turn mower. It's, it's awesome. Alright, so, the purpose of this little guy right here... Um, you know, granted, I could have gone with something different, but I'll show you the reason why right now. Basically, the way these pallets spawn, normally you'd pick up a pallet from this angle. Well, for some reason they spawn like this, so you have to pick them up from the side. So having a nice little mini wheel loader, if you will, allows you to be able to pick them up and maneuver them around. Plus, as I believe I said earlier in the video, I don't ever use it. So here's my chance to use it. Put it on the right implement. And gotta remember to pull the tractor. Now I can detach it. And then we'll detach this guy right here after I maneuver it. <laughs> No, wrong. Why are you not working? It doesn't like me today, apparently. Oh yeah, see? That's what I'm talking about right there. I turned it off. That was my own fault. Ta-da! Now it works. Which is handy, so if you're, you know, in that case where I was towing a trailer, I didn't end up actually moving it and slamming it into the trailer and then glitching it out or sending the trailer flying through the air in some fantastic fashion. I will detach that. Uh, you can do it. There you go. Alright. Let's go get our other implements. And we'll pick up a plow while we're at it. Because obviously that would be great. Oh yeah, this thing does 50 miles an hour too, so... Oh, yeah, I almost forgot one other really cool feature that I didn't realize at first, and I came across it by accident. Obviously, you see the barn behind us. If you look up at the sunroof, see that? It's a mirror. It doubles as a mirror. Then you slide it out of the way, and it's a sunroof. And now you get the mirror back. Just awesome, awesome tractor. Um, also, when you're in lift um, open cover mode, um, I'll show you that in a minute, but there's actually a indicator on the steering wheel that 
lights up when you're in that mode so you know you're actually in that mode and there's another indicator on there to the left when you're in the tilt mode so if you're going up a hill the cab will stay level even though the vehicle itself is on a slant really cool feature all right so real quick we'll drop it down and you see right there it lit up in the middle All right, now, let's turn that on. And you see, as we lift the three-point link, it shows you the height. Now, I believe these lift up with the uh, circle and stuff like normal, but, you know, why not have some fun with the manual stuff? Um, that's attached. Oop. And we'll lift that guy up right there. Turn that on. Bam. And lastly, we need a plow. So we'll do. Ah, <clears throat> oh, let's see what I want to go with. You know what? Now I know most people are going to be like, "Ah, oh, go with the uh, the John Deere," but you know. I'm a case guy at heart, so we're going to lease this bad boy right here to make our fields with. And also, I almost forgot, I've got precision farming on too, so I'm going to get us the soil sampler as well. If I ever get there, through my ungodly gigantic list of mods. Oh, I can grab that too. Almost forgot. You're welcome. And we'll just buy that because we're going to need it. And it's not too expensive, really. <clears throat> Alright, so. Let's, uh... Now, I haven't ever put this on this tractor, so hopefully... Alright. Fun with steering wheels. But you can actually see the mirror right now. You can sort of see the plow in the mirror. It's just a new feature. It does help when you're like trying to back up to a trailer or something and you're in first person and you want to be a little more realistic or whatever. Alright, off we go. I do want to create a couple more fields and at least two or three. Um, and I do plan on getting a mower set up a little later in the uh, season when there's actually grass to be mowed. Um, and then animals. It's going to be a bit of a process. I've, I've got it on one time speed right now just because uh, because it's on three day seasons. i got a lot to get done so I'll bump up the speed once I'm kind of established. Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm having such an issue talking today. Um, I'll definitely, uh, bump up the speed a little once I get a little more set up. And of course I have the plow in the back so I can't fit in there. Ah, it's a lovely day. Alright. What's, what am I doing? Let's do it the right way. Bam. Oh yeah! Yeah, so that's the only downside with this. I mean, you get used to it, but the, uh, really? Okay, we'll do that then. Um, the only downside with this is because there's so many bits to it, it takes, um, it takes, uh, a minute to cycle through the, the options of the 
bits as you're trying to detach or control different implements. You have to kind of always be paying attention to where you're, what you're selected on. So, speaking of which. All right. So I think hmm. let's see. The soil sampler, I got the plow. Next thing we're going to need is lime spreader. Which, I got a lot of different ones, but honestly this is my favorite one. I know a lot of people like the red one that's a uh, 20,000 liter. Um, this one just handles better, and it doesn't get that wobble while you're driving it. So, this is my go-to. And we're going to buy that because it's cheap. So, let's see, is there anything else we need? Right off the bat. Um, I think we're going to go with, <sighs> debating here, I really love this mod, <clears throat> and it saves me from having to buy multiple cedar planters. I mean, granted, there's plenty of fantastic ones, this one is amazing. Um, this one is actually fantastic. It's an old one. It's been around forever since the beginning of the game, but I absolutely love it. It's, it's of course, very akin to the, the John Deere one. But, um... Just seeing what else I got for options. I got this one, too. This is 7 meter. The one that does everything. I'm not sure. We'll hold off on that. Let's go get our lime spreader. <laughs> still dropped. <laughs> yep, indicator on the center, bottom center. See that little red light and the green light? That means I am still down. save money for other things. We'll start with this stuff and once I actually get to the point of planting we'll worry about planting. going to be definitely be a process because I got animals to get and stuff like that but if I'm not gonna um, I'm obviously gonna have to buy a bunch of stuff at first but the end goal is to be completely self-sustaining so we'll see if I can make it actually I think I'm gonna leave this wow holy no breaks Batman
Alright, so the last two things I think I'm gonna do. I think I might make a field over here. Depending on how long that takes. And I'm gonna sample that other field we have. So. say I could plow this first, but it's not going to be ready for a while, and I could always plant it as a grass field. I might do that anyway, so I can get lime and get a better yield out of it. Suggested, right? Nope. <laughs> uh, I am failing miserably here. is a process. It really is a fantastic mod. I know it looks kind of rough at times, but it's definitely worth it. And it's something different, like I said. I tend to I have like a, a dozen different tractors that I tend to cycle through myself that I use over and over again, you know, I mean, I'll try a new one every now and then, but, you know, we all have our favorites and stuff, but at the same time, sometimes I like trying different stuff, and the versatility of this tractor really is uh, unmatched, so. It's not going to be the most perfect field you've ever seen, but it should grow. But so this is my uh, this is my self-sustaining farm build, and uh, hopefully you all uh, have enjoyed the video. If you have, like and uh, subscribe and there'll definitely be more content on this um, I'm looking at also potentially doing one of the Shanty Boys challenges on Jack Pine uh, which is 
if I'm correct, and I'll have to double check. Basically, you start with either their equipment or you can sell the equipment. And you have to create a farm with, I believe it's either three to five fields. Um, and you have to harvest all the crops through those fields, I believe, and then reach a million dollars. I believe that's the challenge. I'll have to double check. But I may end up doing that as a secondary map. And I'm also potentially going to be uh, doing one on Rustic Acres, I believe. Um, almost the farm just came out with an update to the crops, and now they've added all the crops that Rustic Acres has uh, with the coffee and the mustard and stuff as well. Um, but they also added tomatoes, so... While I do like almost the farm, a lot of people are doing it, so I was kind of thinking of going to Rust Gakers, but we'll see. Um, this is obviously going to be my main focus at first, but uh, just to have some, you know, some different stuff also for people who may not like this particular uh, style or, you know, are sick of seeing No Man's Land. <laughs> um, But, uh, yeah, I think we'll get this field plot up here real quick. And, um, then I think we'll leave it there for the day. And next time we will come back, we'll soil sample, maybe throw another field or two up. And, uh, probably try and get some animals. At least a few to start off with, you know, to get the productions kind of moving. And I'll also double check what kind of uh, crops I need for the production packs to actually work, because obviously they all take various things. I know the pig food takes a couple different types. Um, I believe the solid fertilizer one takes manure and I want to say straw. And the liquid one takes either slurry, digestate, and something else. So. Obviously, the animals themselves and their byproducts are going to be a huge part of making the production packs actually work. Um, but yeah, this is my farm. <laughs> what I get for trying to do fancy camera work. <laughs> and as soon as we get these planted, then uh, we'll be We'll be halfway on our way to, to making everything work. I do love this plow though. It does have a high power requirement, but it was nice back when the, uh, basically the only good plow out there was the Lizard 6 meter that everybody uses, which I've used a lot myself, but it was nice to have one that was just a little bigger. I didn't get that right, and I missed a whole bunch of spots. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Quality content right here. Gotta love it. Uh, again, I apologize for the roughness of the, the video and such, but, uh, I will improve. I, I, uh, I'm definitely going to be working on this, and, and as I said, maybe some other content as well. And hopefully, you guys are enjoying this. Seeing me fumble around with words and machinery, you know, it's a good time. The struggle is real.
glass strip. And now we have two fields. Making progress. After I'm done this, I'll take a look at the map real quick. And uh, then I think we're going to leave it. And we'll be back at it probably in the next couple days. Hopefully I can get another video out. And for those of you who've actually made it to the end, then uh, I appreciate you. And thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time.